Good day to all my students. Kumusta mong tanan? Hinaot na araw mas may panlawas. Huwag maayong akahimtang. Kumusta ang weekend? O kumusta ang atong assignment o project? Hinaot, iyon ang hinahinayan o buhat. Magpasalamat ta sa itong labang makagagahom sa tanan na iyang gihatag ka nato sa matag adlaw. Salamat kay Lord sa tanan. Atong topic ka ng class, mao ang ikatulong topic sa atong subject, City 122, o usani sa mga coverage sa atong umaabot na prelim examination. Naguluhan kinig safety laboratory procedures and tools use. So, ato ng sugdan class, o allow me to wear a, a shade kay nag watery ang akong eyes. So, so ako okay, ayoko sa monitor while uh, I'm creating this topic. Okay? So, let's begin. Safety laboratory procedures and tools use. So, here, this topic covers basic safety practices for the workplace, hardware and software tools, and the disposal of hazardous materials. Safety gli guidelines help protect individuals from accidents and injury and protect equipment from damage. So here class, ano mo follow tag safety guidelines para sa atong kayuhan, no? Individuals kita and sa atong equipment from damage and also our environment. Okay? So we need to follow safety laboratory procedures para dilita ma-injured or ma-harm including our equipment, computers and networking devices. Safe working condition help prevent injury to people. Yun na ginta, no? And damage to computer equipment. A safe workspace, ang usakulong ka safe ng workspace, limpio, clean, organized, and properly lighted. So, limpio, organisado, or anong naka-organize sa mga butang, kunya, klaro ang iyang hayag, no? Properly or well-lighted. Follow proper procedures for handling computer equipment to reduce the risk of personal injury. So, yun agad ang tao. At damage to property, kada mga itong uh, equipment, ang itong mga butang. O loss of data. So, importante class ang pag-protect also our data. Any damage or loss may result in claims for damage from the owner of the property and data. So, instead na ikaw mo yung nag-ginansya na kwarta, in performing uh, repair or troubleshooting or maintenance, ikaw na hinong nakabayad class tungod sa data na nawagtang sa owner. Okay? So, especially kung imo owner na yung mga important files like uh, teachers, branga officials, um, attorney, o uh, kuyaw na, no? Imong ma-delete or mawagtang ilang data. So, those data are very important for them. So, kinahalan ato na i-keep, ato i- i-back up. Okay? General safety guidelines. So, atong tuntun andri class ang mga general safety guidelines na makatabang na to, to protect ourselves from danger, from injury, and also our property. Follow the basic safety guidelines to prevent cuts, burns, electric shock, or electrical shock, and damage to eyesight. As is best practice, make sure that fire extinguisher and first aid kit are available in case of fire. So, naging duha ang fire extinguisher of first aid kit in case of fire or anong mga injury. Caution power supplies and monitors contain very high voltage. Do not wear the anti-static rest trap when repairing power supplies or monitors. So, usually class, uh, atong mga monitors, especially katong mga CRT, it contains high amount or high level of voltage so nagi tayo mga safety precautions while repairing you know? and then dilikit ang sulob sa atong anti-static rest trap kaya anti-static rest trap muli siyang mag-ground sa atong kagulingon nag to seek it okay ito na matunan sa atong further ng mga discussion especially sa hands on troubleshooting general safety guidelines okay na under class remove your watch or any jewelry and secure loose clothing ang tangon na ito atong mga alahas like relo o turn off the power and unplug equipment before performing service. Bear in mind na magini unang buhatong ang pagpaong unplug sa atong mga devices before ta mo go into troubleshooting and repair. Cover any sharp edges inside the computer case with tape, palitang masamad or makats 
never open a power supply or monitor. Okay, kini nga mga klase sa equipment or devices or components contains high voltages. Do not touch areas in printers that are hot or that use high voltages. So, di na hikapon ang mga init, no? Yung mga printer, ng mga init kayo o head or parts. So, di na to hikapon. Know where the fire extinguisher is located and how to use it. So, kinahalan mo. Practice ta gamit sa pass. Pull the pin. Aim the base of the fires, not the flame. Then, squeeze the handle or nozzle. Then, sweep side to side ng pass. Ito na mo later. Keep food and raise out of your workspace. Okay, kay basing makontaminate ni o mga toxic. O, ako tayo pagkaon ito sa atong workspace, posible nga kung na yung mga matagat-tagat, no? Then, dito ang mga hulmigas, mga ok ok uban pang mga insects na anhinon sa atong workspace. Keep your workspace clean and free of clutter. So, ato ginang may mulipihan ng atong workspace para Han ay ang atong ibang buhat. Bend your knees when lifting heavy objects and avo to avoid injury to your back. So, kinahanglan class nga at ipiko ang atong mga tuhod kung mag-arsat ang mga bugat like computer monitors, system unit, or ka ng mga server, or mga UPS nga bugat. Kinahanglan at ibin ang knees. Di na ito dito yung arsa na nag-straight ang atong tiir. Kaya yung mga cause na injury sa atong likod. Labo computer laboratory rules so na mga laboratory rules no uh, di ko mingon nga kini specific gini sa mo gini ang general but usually mo ni ang common computer laboratory rules need to be followed of student or workers in order to maintain order and safe condition while working in computer laboratories so na dili class enter and exit quietly so masud tag magawas sa laboratory nga hilom no food or drink don't spread germs nang na natay uh, magmasta then especially karon na naay tay pandemic no and pantag alcohol organize before leaving your area di biyaan ang computer nga nag-on di biyaan ang mga papel print only with permission man lagi kong magprinta no exit in appropriate sites or images so oh, kanang mga basto siguro no na mga websites or mga salida or mga pictures na di maayo No running in the lab. Respect your teacher and classmates. Give ah never give out personal information. So many mga common ng mga computer laboratory rules. Common laboratory risks are slips and falls from working in wet locations and ergonomic hazards of lifting, pushing, pulling, and repetitive tasks. Other physical hazards are often unnoticed or electrical, mechanical, acoustic, or thermal in nature. Ignoring This can have potentially serious consequences. So, sa ato ng pagtrabaho sa laboratory, if we are the technician or we are using the computer laboratory, na yung mga hazards na di na ito, kayo pumantayad, no? Natin kita wag ergonomic hazards, ang pag-arsa, pagtulod, pagbira, o kung sa pang mga lihok-lihok sa laboratory. Ang uban, kinikita wag ng physical hazards, kinikita wag ng electrical hazards, Circuits, maybe like short circuits, mechanical, acoustic and thermal in nature. Kung ito ni-ignore class, possibly na ito yung itawag of potentially serious consequences. So, bear in mind when working with laboratory, especially computer laboratories, na angay na itong bantayan ang mga rules and regulations. Possible computer laboratory hazards. So, yun yung nakita class ang chemical radiation, electrical connection, and equipment. So here, sa chemical, we have solvent, ink, cleaning solution, and others. Radiation, frequency, and lights. Electrical connection, faulty wiring, grounding, busted, electronic component. Equipment, batteries, toner, sharp, computer parts, and others. So muni ang mga possible hazards inside a computer laboratory or computer shop. Fire safety guidelines. So, ada taklas sa other topic, subtopic, fire safety guidelines. Helps protect to protect lives, structures, and equipment. So, kani klas, kini ha general mana kini kai fire, kini kado nang lives, kini kena buhi na structures, ngatong building, ngatong office, then equipment, our laboratory and devices. To avoid electric shock and to prevent damage to the computer, turn off and unplug the computer before beginning a repair. 
So magining pinaka basic na buhaton. Bahalag suito na mo kayo no? Sa ay mga suito na mga technician dili na mag unplug o mag turn off. Kinahang lang yun. O sa mga safety measures ang pagpalong no? Pag-ibot sa atong mga computer components. Gikan sa atong power source. Fire can spread rapidly and very costly. Proper use of fire extinguisher can prevent a small fire from getting out of control. When working with computer components, always consider the possibility of accidental fire and know how to react. So, di gin malikayan class, especially sa na electrical circuit, na power nga nagay possibility nga na ay problema or na agay fire suno okay then hindi kong class always consider the possibility of an accidental fire and know how to react di gin magparatol-ratol no inanglan nagitay peace of mind at og gigamiton ato nga una-una og unsao na to class pag react in case na ay fire In case there is a fire, you should follow these safety procedures. Oh, safety na. Never fight a fire that is out of control or not contained. Hindi na makaya ang fire class. So, ay na pag... Ano na ang pag nga, no? Dagan lang siguro. O sibat na, o gawas. Always have a plan fire escape route before beginning any work. Kung trabaho mo na kong building or company or mga laboratory shop, so, panadaan ang fire exit kung asa tapita. In case na isunog, naamoy ka... Yawsan. Get out of, of the building quickly. Contact emergency services for help. So, may pang buhato na ito, class, in case na ay sunog. Okay, how to use our fire extinguisher? So, ito na i-discuss later, no? Fire extinguisher, be sure to locate and read the instruction on the fire extinguishers in your workplace before you have to use them. Commonly, there are four classifications or five classifications of fire extinguishers. So, na class A, class B, class C, class D, and class uh, key. No, bag-uning key. A, money mga ordinary combustibles, wood, paper, cloth, and others. B, flammable liquids, grease, oil, paint, solvents. C, live electrical equipment, electrical panel, motor, wiring, and others. D, combustible metal, magnesium, aluminum. And K, commercial cooking equipment, money ang cooking oils, animal fats, vegetable oils. Okay? So, muning mga klase sa fire extinguisher na itong gamiton in a specific type of fire. Okay, muning pass ganyan, no? Pull the pin, aim at the base of the fire, not the flames, squeeze the lever, then sweep the nozzle from side to side. So, yung timanhan, P-A-S-S, -S, pass. Then, if you want uh, some videos on class, So, muntan ang mga video na sa YouTube, no? Kaya naghan niya how to operate fire extinguisher. Then, let's move to causes of equipment failure. Okay, unsa may mga reasons nga nang maguba atong mga computer components. Doon natin itawag o ASD, electrostatic discharge. Na po tayo harsh climates and poor quality sources of electricity can cause damage to computer equipment. So, naituloy, no? ASD, harsh climates, ang atong... Uh, temperatura atong klima o sun poor dili nindot nga dili nindot nga flow sa atong electricity okay follow proper handling guidelines be aware of environmental issues and use equipment that stabilizes power to prevent equipment damage and data loss so what is ASD so morning ASD muni ang static charges nga gikan sa atong lawas or gikan sa palibot It can cause permanent damage to electrical components. Follow this recommendation to help prevent ASD damage. Keep all components in anti-static bags until you are ready to install them. Kining anti-static bag muli maka-prevent sa ASD from damaging our component. Use grounded mats on work benches. Use grounded floor mats in work areas. Use anti-static rust trap when working on computers. So, ato ni siyang makita class when we are now uh, doing actual in our activities. So, mangita at tagpag yung saon. So, climates. Saon class ang climate nga makadaot sa atong mga component. Climate affects computer equipment in variety of ways. 
if the environment temperature is too high, equipment can overheat. Kung in kaya atong palibot, overheat ang atong equipment. If the humidity, muni ang presence of water vapor in the air, level is too low, the chances of ESD increases. Kung murag alimut ang atong palibot, taas ang chances sa ESD. If humidity level is too high, daghag water vapor ang atong uh, palibot, equipment can suffer from moisture damage. Kung sublaan na kung ka tugnaw atong aircon, no? Air conditioning. Or air conditioner. So, possibly nga mag magbasa ang palibot niya mag moisture damage. Then, if the condition are cool and dry, is the probability is high. If the condition are warm humid, is the probability, probability is low. So, muna yung atong tanawang class, if we are handling computer laboratory or computer shops, ang iyang temperature. Muna nga, kasagalang class, mga uh, computer shop na ginag air conditioner para mamintayin ang iyang uh, eksakto nga temperatura for the operation of computers. Okay? Then, power fluctuation. Muna ang poor quality sources of our power. Power fluctuation is unsteady voltage class. Dili permanente o dili steady nga voltage. Mo taas, mo ubus. So, usan ni sa mga cause, no? Mo high voltage, mo low voltage. Mga cause of damage sa atong electronic parts, sa atong computers. Voltage is the force that moves electrons through a circuit. The movement of electrons is called current. Computer circuits need voltage and current to operate electronic uh, components. When the voltage in a computer is not accurate or steady, computer components may not operate correctly. Unsteady voltages are called power fluctuations. So, muning normal class na flows atong electricity, muni ang fluctuated. Taas, mumubo, mutaas, mubos. Okay? So, muna yung usas sa makadaot. Muna yung mingon sila nga, during brownout, inigbalik sa korente, kusog muna kayo ang pag amperahe, uban, mingon amperahe, voltahe, muna yung madamid sa natong computer components. The following are types of AC power fluctuation can cause data loss or hardware failure. Number one here, blackout, complete loss of AC power. A blown fuse, damaged transformer, or down power line can cause a blackout. So, mabot ang fuse sa inyong transformer. Kung mawag ang kit ang tibuok lugar o kurinti, muni ang blackout. Brownout, reduce voltage level of AC power that lasts a period of time. Overloading electrical circuit can cause brownout. So, it's like what happened in our place, no? Especially sa mga peak hours, atong paggamit sa kurinti, kanang mahapon na, kaya daghan ang magamit. So, natay rotational brownout. Dili makaya sa atong uh, provider, Selco, Selco or Napocor. Uh, ang overloading. So, but I guess they are uh, doing their best to cope up our needs. Okay? So, pero sa ito, hindi kaya na yung mga brownout. The noise interference from generators. So, dili maayong class, padaon lang mga cellphones o atong mga computer equipment or laptop sa mga nag-andar na generators o kining lightning, kining kilat, no? Saan yung sumakadaot sa atong components? Noise result in unclean power which can cause errors in a computer system. Spike. Sudden increase in voltage lasts a very short period of time, exceeds in 100% of the normal voltage on the line. Spy can be caused by lightning strikes, but also occur when electrical system comes back on after a blackout. So, delikado class no, muna nga, na mo yung mga TV, advice sa una, tangtangon gitong mga RG59 na nakasaksak sa likod, no, sa atong barang antina. Okay, once magpangilat, posibli nga, madaot na itong TV o niya at ang basoban, i-off ang plangka or our circuit breaker during burnout unya usa pa na to i-on if steady na ang voltahe higikan sa atong provider kay usay class, magpadok-padok ang atong kurinti higikan sa burnout so usa na sa mga kaguba, no? especially sa mga kapasitor sa atong computer parts then power surge no? 
Ano tayo kitawag? Storm surge, no? Masaka ang tubig sa dagat. Kini, power surge, dramatic increase in voltage above the normal flow of electrical current. A power surge lasts a few nanoseconds or one billion of a seconds. So, usanin ka ng mutaas o kalit ng atong voltahe na dili na makapugong ang atong mga resistor o kapasitor ng mga muto magdaot ng atong computer components. Then, we have power protection devices. So, naman tayo mga problema sa atong kurinti. So, naapot tayo protection devices. First, here we have surge suppressor. Helps protect against damage from surges and spikes. A surge suppressor diverts extra electrical voltage on the line to the ground. So, ang gamit niya ni Klaas, kung sobra atong voltahe, yung i-divert ang sobra ng voltahe gikan sa atong linya pa doon sa ground. Muni ang surge suppressor. Okay? Then, we have UPS, an interruptible power supply. So, may gamit niya. Helps protect against potential electrical power problems by supplying electrical power to computer or other device. So, unsa may nakanindot sa UPS, nani sa gitawag na battery, which is constantly recharging while the UPS is in use. So, meaning, inigawa sa kurinti, you, ka, you have the chance to save your work and shut down properly your computers. Na iba ng UPS, last of 30 minutes, na 1 hour, so, kanang dagko gigaayo na yung mga 2 hours to 5 hours, no? Kung dagko na kaayo nga battery na may mga battery nga dagko na gikaayo na UPS po nga pang balay na pang heavy duty okay ang nakalindot ani na sa backup battery with powers black out o run out so napaka chance to save your work and shut down and save your data then standby power supply sa may gamit niya helps protect against potential electrical power problems by providing a backup battery to supply power with incoming voltage drops below the normal level. So, the battery is on standby during the normal operation. When the voltage decreases, the battery provides DC power to a power inverter which converts AC power for the computer. So, ang nakalahi ng ani class, mapawang kadiot ang imong PC ani, no? Mapawang kadiot kay kining iya pa man ibaylo ang kurinti gikan sa imong outlet. Kung mawang kurinti sa imong outlet, iya pang matagaan kag laing kurinti pinagi po sa battery. Pero ang nakalahi nila sa UPS, ang UPS TD, ang imong kurinti kanin, marag mapawang kag mga pila ka seconds. Okay. So, anita sa computer, computers and peripherals contain, containing materials that are or that can be harmful to environment. Hazardous materials are sometimes called toxic waste. These materials can contain high concentration of heavy metals such as cadmium, lead, or mercury. So, matod pa sa uban, nga makadaot ni nga mga uh, earthly metals sa atong lawas. The regulations for the disposal of hazardous materials vary according to state or country. So, kita na po tayo waste, no? Ang tayo solid management uh, sa atong nasod or sa atong lugar. So, na tayo gitawag nga rin nga material data safety sheets or ang ba na ni? Material safety data sheet, no? Or SDS or MSDS. Ang sabi gamit ani? It's an important component of, of product stewardship, occupational safety and health, and spill handling procedures. SDS are widely used system for cataloging information on chemicals, chemical compounds, and chemical mixture. It is valuable in determining how to dispose any potentially hazardous materials in the safest manner. So, kini nga uh, klase sa papel class na contain sa information about possible hazardous uh, concentration or toxic sa maong uh, components. Okay, sa may nalih, the name of the material. The physical properties of the material, any hazardous ingredients contained in the material, the Activity data, such as fire or an explosion data. Procedures or for spills or leaks. Special precautions, health hazards, or special protection requirements. So, in any nga, kini nga data class, maghatag ni o uh, tabang sa usaka worker, 
sa ka-personal nga naghandol sa maong nga component. Okay? Computers and other computing devices are eventually discarded because of one of the following reasons. Nanong ato mang i-discard, no? Or ato maning uh, i-trust or ato maning i-uban, mag-recycle or uban, uh, ilan maning i-dump, no? Ang ilang mga computer parts or computer system. Parts or components begin to fail more frequently as device ages. So, kung magkadugay, magkahinay or maguba gin ang atong mga parts. The computer becomes obsolete for the application for which it was originally intended. So, nag-update class, nag-upgrade na atong mga software. So, dili na kaabot, no? dili na ka-accommodate na atong hardware, muna nga ilisan. Newer models have improved features. So, na yung mga bago nga nindot o features. So, these are the reasons nga nung atong ilisan, nung atong discard nga itong mga computer components. Please observe proper disposal of these materials. Kining battery, no? Ang muntay kuhan sa una. Uh, programa itong gobyerno. Bantay baterya, di ba? Often are rare earth metals that can be harmful to the environment. Batteries from port portable computer system may contain lead, cadmium, lithium, alkaline, manganese, and mercury. So, sa gagmay pata class, siguro nakasulit ang duwa sa battery, no? Katong itong. So, dili dito maayo duwaan, kay? It contains toxic o hazardous compounds or chemicals. Then CRT contains glass, metal, plastics, lead, barium, and rare earth metals which are harmful to people and environment. So, tagsan na yung nagamit ng CRT, no? Kay kasaganan ka ng LCD lead na hindi pang gamit. Pero na yung CRT class, try to dispose it properly. Toner kits Cartridges and developers contains ink and other chemical substances that can harm the environment, especially sa bodies of water, sa tubig, canal. So, hindi maayon na ito sa gadog labay. Chemical solvent, aerosol cans, chemicals or solvents down a sink or dispose of them in any drain that contains public sewers. Make sure that they are identified and treated as special hazardous waste. So, hindi ipatakay labay niya po sa mga party nga na itubig, no? Some aerosol cans may explode when exposed to heat if the contents are not completely used. Sa guban, mabuto. Kining mga aerosol can, mabuto kung mabuwad sa init. So, nakagin tayo proper disposal sa atong mga computer equipment kay it contains hazardous chemicals that are harmful to human and to the environment. Okay, arin natin sa tools. No? Right tools for laboratory work. For every job, there is a right tool. Make sure that you are familiar with the correct use of each tool and that the right tool is used for the current task. Skilled use of tools and software makes the job less difficult and ensure the tasks are performed properly and safely. So while using the right tool, we can assure that our task will be performed properly and safely. So, natin itawag sa computer class tools nga, ESD tools, hand tools, cleaning tools, and diagnostic tools. ESD tools, example na ito lo, antisatic rust trap used to prevent ESD damage to your computer. Then, antisatic mat used to stand on, the, or on or to place hardware and to prevent static electricity from building up. And anti-static bag is used to place the new or unused computer electronic components to avoid ESD. So, kini sila klaseng tulo, maka-prevent na ESD nga mo ay makaguba sa atong computer. So, timinig sa ESD, electrostatic discharge. Hand tools. Most tools used in computer assembly processes are small hand tools. At ang itawag nga, flathead screwdriver used to loosen or tighten slotted screws. Then, pellet head screwdriver used to tighten or loosen cross head screw. So, kani kay flat, kini kay cross. Minus, kini kay plus. Torx screwdriver is used to tighten or loosen screw that are starlight depression on the top. A feature that is mainly found on laptops and cell phones. Muni gamiton plus. Usually sa laptop, nani no? Nga mga screw. Hex. Driver sometimes called a nut driver used to tighten nuts in the same way that the screwdriver tightens screws. 
So kanil class gigamit ti kasagaran sa mga stand up sa motherboard. Then needle nose pliers used to hold small parts. Then wire cutters are used to strip and cut wires. Tweezers are used to manipulate small parts. Tweezers. Murag imong kuan sa ilok no kanang sorry, ibot puler. Muni siya ang hold sa mga or manipulate hold sa ginagmay ng mga parts sa computer or sa imong cellphone. Part retriever used to retrieve parts from location that are too small to your hand to feel. So nani sa kimpit class no? Muna sa mupaak, mukimpit sa components na hindi na ito makuot ng mga components sa ito computer. No? Especially kung matagat siya sa computer case. Flashlights used to light up areas that you cannot see well. So doon ay mga panahon na while you are troubleshooting dim ang atong light na nitag mas nindot na light. No? Hayag na suga. So mga mga flashlights. So alita sa ngoto ang mga hardware tools. Then, we have here cleaning tools. Having the appropriate cleaning tools is essential when maintaining or repairing computers. Using these tools, ensure that computer components are not damaged during cleaning. So, sa may nag-una nga class, ang soft cloth, no? Uh, usually, morning ka nang gamit class, iniglimpyo sa mga eyeglasses, no? Used to clean different computer components without scratching or leaving debris. Debris ka nang munang mga noog-noog, o nang mga, mga puti-puti, no? Ikan sa atong panapton. Kasagaran, ang gigamit ani ka ng mga gigamit po sa paglimpyo sa eyeglass. Compress air, muna yung mabugag hangin para matalagpot ang abog. Uban, magamit glass of electric fan or blower. Used to blow away dust and debris from different computer parts without touching the components. Cable ties are used to bundle cable neatly and inside and outside the computer. So, cable tie, kailangan mo tala, no? Muna yung mabangan sa atong mga wires. Then, Part organizer used to hold screw jumpers, fastener, and other small parts, and for them prevents them from getting mixed together. So mula ni sa gamay ng bawonan class na mao yung mag segregate sa atong mga different kind kinds of screws, screws, jumpers, or fastener. Gagmay. Then we have diagnostic. Na ko yung hatag ng mga sample duha, no? It is used to check and diagnose computer com uh, problems and test computer hardware. Digital multimeter used to test the integrity of circuits and quality of electricity in com computer components. Kaduha, lockback adapter used to test the basic functionality of computer ports. So, kaning duha class. So, puli, mga kita at tanong. Bisa video lang ani how to use these tools. Then, we have software tools. A technician must be able to use a range of software tools to help diagnose problems, maintain hardware, and protect the data stored in on a computer. So, na tayo software, ganyan, na tayo gitawag pinakauna, ASD, sunod hand tools, sunod, sa to? Cleaning tools, sunod diagnostic tools, and we have here software tools, desk management tools. You must be able to identify which software to use in different situations. Desk management tools self detect and correct desk errors, prepare a desk for data storage, and remove unwanted files. So, natadre mga desk management tools. Una ang F desk or desk management. Mo ni ang mag sa mga F desk. Kung hindi siya mahimong dos kama, no? Create, delete partitions in hard drive. Then, format. Used to prepare hard drive to store information. So, para sa anak yung mga flash drive na virusan, no? O ba, bagong flash drive, like format. Ang purpose na class, iandam mga itong storage device for storing data. Scan desk or check desk. Used to check the integrity of files and folders on the hard drive by scanning a desk. Surface for physical error. Defrag. Used to optimize space on the hard drive to allow faster access to programs and data. Desk clean up. Used to clear space in hard drive by searching for files that can be safely deleted. Desk management. A system utility used to manage hard drives and partitions which perform tasks such as initializing desk, creating partitions, and formatting partitions. System file checker. A command line utility that scans the operating system, critical files, and replaces any files that are corrupted. So, hopefully, class, no, ato pa ning ma-explore ning ang mga command or kini nga mga desk management tools in our further discussion. I hope 
we can uh, explore and we can use them. I'm still now finding ways how to make our class more easier for us to hands-on or have our activities. So, until now class, no? Naglisod lagi ko pangita since we are only online, having online classes. So, I hope uh, somehow we can find ways how to um, render our hands-on practical hands on activities okay so ito nang i-discuss sila po then software protection tools so ganiha na tayo software management software or just management tools now we have software protection tools masamun na sila example mga antivirus programs which protects a computer against virus attacks spyware remover protects against software that sends information about web serving habits to an attacker and firewall, a program that runs continuously to protect against unwanted or unauthorized communication to and from your computer. So, usually sa network ni. So, muna sila class ang mga example sa software protection tools. So, daghan ka ni, broad ka ni CT122 class na classic, no? We're talking about computer systems. Appeal na ni ang software. Organizational tools. Unsama na sila. It is important that a technician document all services and repair. No? Muna yung pinaka-importante, kanyang documentation para matrace na itong class ng problem. And we can use this documentation for future purposes. Kung na ay guba, na the same ra, maguba, so easy lang ta. Kaya naman tayo yung documented na daan nga repair. These documents needs to be stored centrally and made available to all other technician. Ato ni i-share sa other technician, no? When you are sharing class, you are growing and learning. So, kung mahimo na mong technician or may na mong computer, ayaw inilaog class, no? Ayaw taguhin mong skills and talents and knowledge, try to share it with others. The documentation can then be used as reference materials for similar problems that encountered in the future. Good customer services includes providing the customer with a detailed description of the problem and solution. So, kung mahimo na mong technician po ang class, kinanglan, tuganan ang customer sa problema o sa solusyon. Then, dili na to, di ta mo take advantage sa mga customers. Kinanglan na agit tayo uh, honest na take transaction with them. Okay? So, ang notes or documentation, importante ka ni class as future reference. This documentation will be, will, will be valuable when you are encountered similar situation in the future. Notes, make notes as you go through the investigation and repair process. Journal, documentation should include description of the problem, possible solutions that have been tried in order to correct the problem, and steps taken to repair the problem. So, money ang atong mga documentation ng damon or atong buhaton. History of repairs, a detailed list of problems and repairs including the date, replacement parts, and customer information. Usually, class, we can find this in a kanang legit service centers uh, mo sa ni pambuhaton sa mga professional technicians so hopefully ato ni siya ma-apply when we are doing our uh, job someday ganahan ta mag technician o ganahan ta mag -admi network administrator o ganahan ta na tayo own company na na ay computer technology application okay Internet reference tools. So, ang internet is a, an excellent source of information about specific hardware problems and possible solution. So, ang internet class, nakaibaw na ta nga, hapitanan nga mga information nga itong ikinanglan, pwede itong makuha sa internet, especially sa computer or hardware problems and possible solution. Natin itawag internet search engines. Sa so, muna mga internet search engines, Google, uh, kanin, Yahoo, Ask, Uban pa. Then, we have news groups. May mga grupo about certain topic. Manufacturers facts or frequent asked questions. Gikan sa nagbuhat sa mga components. Pwede na ma review Online computer manuals. Gikan ni sa manufacturer gihapon. Online forums and chats. So, Maapil kag mga forum na nag uh, hisgot about computer maintenance and computer repair. And technical websites. So, visit kag mga technical websites para na kuha kag mga idea how to 
perform computer repair and troubleshooting. Miscellaneous tools. So, napagid, no? Nga nag-tools. Napagid, usa ka. Lastly, siguro ni. Last nga. Apa ni? Yes, money ang miscellaneous tools. A working computer is also a valuable resource to take with you on computer repairs in the field. A working computer can be used to research information, download tools or drivers, or communicate with other technician. Na ilang technician sa unang nga nagpalit sa iyang kagali yung computers, once na iguba, dito niya kuha ng parts, ay testings, once nga muandar, so iyan ang matrace ang guba nga parts. So iyan ang inyong ang tag-iya nga money siya iguba. Example, power supply, RAM, iyang tagtangon iyang RAM, ipuli sa iyang giay ng computer, once nga muandar class, so it means ang RAM mag-guba. Power supply, o mag-iap ng hard drive. Then, also nakagito ang functional computer parts. Using known good working components to replace possible bad ones in computers will help you quickly determine which component may not be working properly. So, mag-andam ka ang mga computer parts class as imo nga replacement parts. In case na yung mag-uba, inig-test na yung mo, inig-iris na yung mo class, ni okay, so makaingon ka sa imong customer na mo ni imong palitanan. So, ilisa ng kanya. Okay? So, mo ni ang usas ang pinaka-best na pag-troubleshoot ang repel o computer, kanang imo siyang eh, kanang replacement, imo siyang pulihan, substitution, ang mga term anak. Ang tangon ang possible nga guba, pulihan sa, sa tarong or functioning, functional nga parts. Once nga okay, so you can declare nga mo agini siya ang guba. Okay? So, cleaning computer parts. So, natay mga procedures, natay mga gamitong class how to clean our computer parts. Below, indicate computer items that you should clean and the cleaning material, materials you should use in case, in its case. Computer case. Sa may gamitong na ito? Mild cleaning solution and lens-free cloth. Okay? Mild lang. Itong isog ng mga solution. By the way, namay mga balik yan na class for computer case. Outside of monitor, mild cleaning solution and lens flake cloth. LCD screen, mild cleaning solution and lens flake cloth. CRT, mag-iapon, mild cleaning solution and lens flake cloth. Heat sink, compressed air, muling mabuga o pressurized na hangin ng paggawa sa mga abog. RAM, isopropyl alcohol with lens flake swab. Dili itong ethyl alcohol ha, or rubbing alcohol, isopropyl alcohol. Keyboard, handheld vacuum cleaner with brass, attachment, na mouse, mild cleaning solution, and length free cloth. So, money class ang panggamiton to clean up our computer parts. So, pasinsya na mo nga kung hindi paspas kay para nyo saad kayo mutaas ang itong video. So, muna itong mga references, adapted and compiled from this CCNA IT Essential PC Hardware Software version 4 Cisco networking academy o sa aban pa ng mga websites. I hope you learned something out of this video. Thank you for watching and please comment your name and your reaction or learning insights as serve as your attendance in our class. So, just prepare for our field examination and also do your assignment and project. Submit to Edmudo para ma-clear na mo sa prelim. Okay? Again, thank you for watching. You can visit no, my YouTube channel, RC Dodger, for more videos. Sa di ba na ko yan ang akong uh, video presentation, ako mag-aingon na uh, ang tinunan na nagpagabana, may hayag na ugma, apan ang tinunan na no, papasagaron, ugma, madag-umon. Madag Una mo yung mga pangutan na class, so just... Uh, don't hesitate to PM me regarding our topic and assignment and projects. Again, thank you. Bye-bye.